After more than a week and three days of cross-examination, the state star witness in the Bridgegate trial finally finished his testimony, and chief political correspondent Michael Aaron was back in federal court where cameras are not allowed, but he is. Michael? Mary Alice, it's Bridget Kelly and Bill Baroni who are on trial. This morning, federal prosecutor Lee Cortez got David Wildstein to say that from Saturday, September 7th of 2013 through that Tuesday, they were the only people Wildstein spoke to about the lane realignment at the GWB. Cortez, each and every day during the lane closures, did you speak to Bridget Kelly? Wildstein, yes. Each and every day, did you speak to Bill Baroni? Wildstein, yes. Cortez, did you speak to Mr. Stepien? Wildstein, no. Did you speak to Mr. Druniak? Wildstein, no. Did you speak to Mr. Duhame? No. Did you speak to the governor? Wildstein, no. After that, Kelly's attorney on recross examination asked Wildstein, who has already pleaded guilty, why he told a particular lie as the cover story about a traffic study was unraveling. Wildstein says, I was not in a good place. It was an error in judgment. Michael Critchley, and someday soon you're going to be in a not good place again. Wildstein, I am? Critchley, your sentencing day, and you wouldn't lie to put yourself in a good place on sentencing day. Wildstein says, sir, my cooperation agreement requires me to tell the truth. Critchley concludes, so it's your word against Bridget Kelly's word. After Wildstein was excused, the government called Chris Stark, a young staffer under Bridget Kelly in the governor's office at the time. Stark testified as to how focused his unit was on getting Democratic endorsements for Governor Christie's reelection. Critchley asked him, do you recall telling people that Bridget Kelly did not have the capability of closing the lanes herself? Stark, in my opinion, no, which we interpreted as meaning she did not. But then on redirect, Prosecutor Vikas Khanna asked, why wouldn't she have the capability? Stark, because she didn't work at the Port Authority. Khanna, what's your opinion if she could work with someone at the Port Authority? Implying it was Baroni. Stark, she could. Stark also testified about a profanity-laced exchange between Governor Christie and Monmouth County freeholder John Curley that Curley has confirmed for us took place a few days after Hurricane Sandy. It's way too profane for television, but it's colorful. Testimony continues tomorrow. Mary Alice?